Oh hi, I didn't see you there. Say, have you ever wanted to kill someone and reap their soul for all eternity? Why not try out to be a Grim Reaper? Just a little humour for you there at the start of the video. So today's video is going to be about how I made my Grim Reaper costume for Halloween. Now this video isn't really about me trying to show you how to make the exact same costume. It's more about how to make any costume cheaply and quickly. Tip number one would be to work with what you got. I had a wizard costume that I'd made for an event with my daughter and it was just kind of lying in my garage. You can't do too much else with a wizard hat, that's only good for wizard, but the robe and the hood thing, I figured I could turn them into something else and Grim Reaper was the first thing I came up with. Anyway, the wizard costume was grey and I needed to dye it black. Now, I thought I would try some food colouring. I bought some black food colouring, tasted it first, that was a mistake. Anyway, I put it in a big tub and soaked the wizard costume stuff in there and it didn't work at all. Now you might be watching thinking, duh, of course it wouldn't work. Well, I've tried food colouring before and other things and it's worked pretty well. I don't know what happened this time, maybe it was a combination of the weird synthetic fibres the costume is made out of, who knows. I do suggest trying little weird tips like this because for every one that doesn't work, you might find one that does work. What I ended up using to make the wizard costume black was spray paint. Now spray paint isn't made for going on fabric like this, but the reason for that is it gives a really splotchy and weird coverage. But I'm making a Grim Reaper who is kind of an eternal soul that's wearing a cloak that's been hanging on him for thousands of years. So, I'm not really looking for perfect coverage. I want that splotchy look. That's another Halloween costume tip. For Halloween, you're often making costumes like zombies, ghosts, demons, ghouls. They're meant to look dirty and raggedy. So you can use materials and paints and dyes that you wouldn't normally use because if it doesn't really cover it quite right, who cares? It's meant to be dirty. You're fine. So the spray paint worked decently well and then it was time to move on to the mask. Now I bought a skull mask which was about five bucks and I figured that was a good price to pay. I could have made a skull mask that looked exactly like that myself but let's say it would have taken me two and a half hours. Two and a half hours is a long time to spend for something you can buy for five bucks. If the mask was a hundred bucks, of course, yeah, I would have made it myself. Just keep in mind, making it yourself isn't always the smartest thing to do. Anyway, I used a really cheap black acrylic paint to just kind of dirty up the skull and add a bit of shading to it eye sockets and its teeth and whatnot. I did end up using my rotary tool to just drill some more holes in it and separate the teeth a little more. Obviously you wouldn't need to do that and if you don't have a rotary tool you could use anything like a file or even just like a nail to just jab some holes and stuff in it. Now I wanted to put a material over my face and it turned out that instead of buying the material it was cheaper to buy a mask that had the material already attached to it and then take the mask off. That's just how it worked out. Be sure to check for that kind of stuff. That screen mask costs like $1.50 but if I was going to buy that amount of material by itself from the material section of the store it was going to cost like $4. Capitalism. It's fucked. So basically yeah I just ripped the material off the mask and wore that under to hide my face. Now it's time to make the Grim Reaper's weapon, a scythe. Now I had to think, what could I use for a stick? What's a cheap option that I could use to make a stick? I could use a stick! I literally just got a stick and used that same spray paint I used for the robes to kind of dirty it up a little bit. And for the metal part, I just had some scrap wood lying around in my shed. I got it, cut out a weird triangle, spray painted it silver, put some black paint on that to dirty it up and then just screwed it on with a bunch of random mismatched screws because that's what I found and it kind of suits the Grim Reaper vibe I feel. The gloves were just like some very cheap cosplay gloves that I bought from like a craft store once. I think they were actually meant to be for like a sexy maid costume or something but they're black, who, no who cares? And that was pretty much my whole Grim Reaper costume done. I was very happy with how this turned out. I feel like I could really kill some people in this. I'm not gonna. I mean, I could, maybe I will. I might. It turned out really good. Don't you think I look scary? That's fucking cool. So yeah, like I said, maybe you do want to make this exact costume. Go ahead. It looks dope and I feel really cool in it. This video was more just to give you the idea of you don't need to spend money on a cool costume. Halloween characters are meant to be dirty and weird. So don't worry if you're using materials and tools that are going to end up splotchy and stuff because it's meant to be like that. You're cool. It's fine. It's also a lot easier if you're not that good of a costume maker. You're making a zombie. Oh, the shirt's crooked. Who cares? It's a zombie. On my channel, I've made a lot of Wastelander costumes because it's cool. If you make mistakes, you're just like, he's lived in a desert. He's meant to be dirty. Shut up. That's not a mistake. I did it on purpose. Anyway, thanks for watching. Here's a quick video of me reaping my daughter's soul. Uh, hey, little girl. Uh, you want to come with me? Yeah. To the underworld? Yeah. And then you can get burning fire and brimstone. You want to come? You want to come? That sound fun? Come on, come on, let's go. Got another one, boys. 